Of course, some people are lucky enough to cause a rush of adrenaline by just turning up. Don't you just hate them? You fancy them too, obviously, but hate them at the same time. But those things that we ask about a partner, sense of humour is nearly always listed as, you know, the first, the second or the third on the list. Most people want a sense of humour. That explains it. Look at some of the funniest men in the business. They're not exactly lookers, are they? But they seem to have pulled some seriously nice women. And what about funny women? Are they pulling above their weight because laughing is sexy? Obviously, we're far too well brought up to say. So, what's the bottom line? Is being funny sexy? It's certainly very important. Very important. A girl can laugh at your jokes because that's her way of saying, yeah, I think you're funny, meaning I think you're good fun. You have to be open to tell jokes and you have to be open to enjoy jokes. So that mutual openness makes you sort of available for sex as well. It's nice if you're funny. It's not the end of the world if you're not. Albert Einstein did all right for himself. I don't remember him cracking any jokes. So how easy is it to laugh someone into bed? And is that easier for men to do than for women? We did our own experiment and sent our volunteers speed dating, two weeks running. Week one, we told them to be nice, but not to try to be funny. Be Joe Average, we said, serious and straightforward, but not the life and soul. You can get plane tickets for America that are just as cheap, if not cheaper. I'm a teacher. And, you know, I was I was writing on the board today, and um, my chalk broke. Uh, people, we said to be serious, not to bore for England. Uh, nice to meet you, Jason. I hope you have a lovely evening. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> OK, so Mr Joe Average took being dull and turned it into an art form. I mean, the V600 whiteboard that's coming out, I won't allow it in the school. Why? I just think, what's wrong with chalk and a blackboard? And I was right. Because my character was an English teacher, I, I thought, well, I, uh, to a few of the girls, I talked about the importance of grammar, whiteboards over chalkboards, um, class sizes. So, at end of week one, not trying to be funny, our girl has done rather well for herself. She's racked up a whopping ten dating ticks. Mr Personality, on the other hand, scored only one. Wonder why? Have you got the, the V600 whiteboard? <laughs> week two, we told them both to be as funny as they could be. How many ticks will they get now? So it's like a boxing match. Yeah. It ends with a bell. We're still talking, yeah. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin, you are not going to be sitting over there with that woman going, is she funny not that, that one. too? Yeah, the kids are even worse. They come with hand grenades and everything. I say it's a nightmare. I don't like drugs. I don't take drugs. I do sell drugs. It's not funny. Forget that. As long as you've got someone to peel your grapes, you know you've got a good holiday. Yeah. End of week two, and it seems that making women laugh has improved our funny man's chances. He received five dating ticks. That's just five times better than last week. Our funny girl, on the other hand, was only half as successful as she was last week, with a mere five. No laughing matter. This week, I sort of had a personality. That's how I look at it. And this week, I could see people's eyes move away. I could see people getting slightly intimidated. And whereas last week, uh, you know, if you're talking about them, then someone is always interested. <laughs> nice to so, what's going on, Professor? <laughs> if you're a funny person, you're normally a socially dominant.